what is going on everyone welcome to our market analysis review video this is all of the analysis that we put out last week and again guys this is all free this is all completely free as you can see in the discord chat we dropped about 10 plus pairs of analysis this is also in the telegram and what i did was i just went you can click on any of these links i've got them all pulled up in here and you can play all of these forward we're going to read through our analysis in the bottom here i'm just going to move this video over we can read through our analysis at the bottom so going into last week on dxy the weekly trend was bearish daily trend was bearish the four hour trend was bullish um, our trade scenario one so our likely trade scenario was dxy has been bearish on all major time frames except the four hour where we saw a recent bullish transition currently price action is ranging between 90 800 and 90 150 for us to consider a bullish dollar, we want to see a break above 9,800, which we did see last week. So, guys, this is all higher time frame analysis, four hour and the daily. So, this analysis you can use for the entire week. Um, you know, this is the overall market structure that we're looking at, the overall direction in the market. As you can see here, I'm going to play this forward. We had price break above this 9,800 level, so we were very bullish on the dollar all last week until we came up to this 91 500 level or monthly level resistance and you can see quite a bit of rejection you know from that level up there so that was dxy let's see how some other pairs played out here we have aud usd again we've got the four hour time frame here this thing fell out of this triangle and was ranging between these two levels right here so let's see going into the week weekly trend bullish daily trend bullish four hour trend bearish trade scenario one AU is still overall bullish, but on the four hour, we recently saw a bearish transition. Ideally, we want to see strong bearish setups at current resistance. Look to target lower towards key support levels and negative FIB levels. So this thing is overall bullish, but as you can see, it was trending downward. Let's see how this played out. So it continued to move downward. We never managed to break below this 7,600 level, and we continue to range now between this. So this week, we will... Again, look to see how it plays off of this 76,800 level. We did just break some resistance here. So this is going from a downtrend right here into an uptrend. So we'll see this week how that plays out. Next, let's go into AUD JPY. This one, we're on the four hour time frame. So we have the weekly trend as being bullish, the daily trend as being bullish, and the four hour trend as being bearish. Trade scenario one. Overall price is still very bullish on all major time frames. We did see a four hour transition when support at 82.50 was broken, but since then price action has been ranging. For us to continue with an overall bullish trend, we ideally want to see a break of uh, 82.50 with a confirmed higher low above and look to target higher towards negative FIB level and resistance. So as you can see here, our FIBs are bullish. We're ranging between these two levels. We're looking to see if it breaks to the upside and followed by that retest is when we would look to long. So this thing continued to range early in the week and then we did get that break above. So we are very bullish right now on AUD JPY. And guys, with it in mind that we are in a bullish bias, this would have been a, a sick buy opportunity coming back into this level. And just look after that, the bullish engulfing right there, you could have taken a buy right there, would have went up about 40, 50 pips. And then obviously it broke higher, another 60 pips. Um, so that was a nice, nice play out on, on uh, AUD JPY. USD JPY, weekly trend bearish, daily trend bullish, four hour trend bullish. Remember everyone, we are trying to get all of these time frames to be um, the same bias. You know, so right now the weekly is bearish, but the daily and the four hour is bullish. So where is it heading? You know, what level is it heading into? We've got this like weekly resistance level all the way up here. Um, and we were, we did break out. We were bullish on this. So trade scenario one was overall price action has been very bearish on the higher time frames but recently saw a four hour and daily transition when price action broke the 104 500 level right there from here we want to see structure form with a confirmed higher low above 104 500 look to target higher towards key resistance level so let's see how this one played out here so we actually never got the retest on this one um, minor retest did pull back then huge bullish price action there this is about a 25 pip candle on the four hour and then it just he headed higher. So this did confirm it was very bullish and it continued bullish the rest of the week. So let's go now to EJ. Um, we had a long idea. So weekly trend bullish, daily trend bullish, four hour trend bullish. So guys, look and see how every single one of these time frames is bullish. So 
in this scenario, we're looking to buy. Overall, this pair has been very bullish on higher time frames. Oh shit, on higher time frames, really saw a bullish leg breaking resistance at 126,500. Now we want to see a confirmed higher low near structure at our 38.2% Fib level. Look to enter long on bullish setups and target higher toward key resistance and negative fibs. So as we can see here, broke out of this, like we, we had assumed that this was a rising wedge. It actually broke out of this. Now we're looking for the retest, looking to go long. Let's see how it played out. Now look how price action formed. We came down into this level. We actually did engulf. We did get some price action off of this area and then we just broke lower. So as soon as we broke lower here, look at our trade scenario number two. If for us to consider short scenarios, we ideally want to see a break and retest of 126 looking look to target lower after confirmed lower high and strong bearish setup so we didn't get a, a break all the way below here but we did get a break below 126 500 and look and see we have the retest here second retest here could have been two good short opportunities especially this one would have been a nice 25 pips could have had stops pretty tight on this one so nice two to one trade right there um on ej so let's go over now to gold Gold short idea, weekly trend bullish, daily trend bearish, four hour trend bearish. Trade scenario one, on the higher time frames, gold has been significantly bullish. However, we have seen strong bearish momentum on the daily and lower. Currently, we're looking for short opportunities off key resistance and our 38.2% Fib level at 18.75. Look to enter short on a strong reversal and bearish setup. Target lower toward key support. So let's take a look up at the chart here and see what we're talking about. So we're ranging underneath this 1875 level. We're looking to see a break above there followed by a retest along or if this level rejects again, we were going to go short. As you can see, price came up, rejected this level, went lower. This was this would have been an amazing trade if you guys did take advantage of this analysis. About 100 or 710 pips to the downside. Now let's get into some of the major pairs. We had GU on the weekly, we formed a doji candle, not a dojo. A doji candle, which indicates further signs of reversal. On the daily, we are starting to form spinning top candles, which are also reversal candles. Overall, we are still in a very bullish trend. On the four hour is where things get interesting. Every time price goes into the 137,400 level, I will take sales. Once price manages to break low, the low of 136,500, we'll be shorting all the way. So this is that level that I was looking to, to get to. As we can see how price opened up, we moved higher back into this resistance level. We took shorts, broke lower, took shorts, broke lower, took shorts again, broke lower, and then we actually boosted up. We moved a, a lot higher now. Um, we broke resistance. So going into this week, it's going to be interesting to see how you know GU played out. As we see, the rest of the week moved much higher. Now we're back into the resistance level. You know, so our the analysis is going to be dropping for this week on GU soon. On the weekly time frame, we have firmly held a support level. Um, so I'll be looking for long opportunities. On the daily, we've been showing resistance from 89, 100 levels. So I will look to short if we are below here and buy once we break above. We can clearly see on the four hour how we have failed to break above this level yet. The market is certainly transitioning to the upside. And once this thing holds above the 200 day moving average, we'll look to go long. If we break back below the 200 day moving average, we will look to go short. So right here is what I'm talking about. This is the resistance level. We need to break above here to go long on USD Swiss, uh, Swiss. And if we break back below the resistance, that's when we'll short. So let's see how it played out. Price never retested, actually just broke above. We just hit our resistance level all the way at the top here. This this is some big resistance. So this week, I may be looking for some short, short action here, retest here, short. So we'll see what happens. But that's how Yousef played out. Let's go over to UCAD. Um, on the weekly time frame, last week formed a large wick candle showing signs of buyer's exhaustion. We are still at a level of support, but could, could this mean we, we sell off this week? Um, coming down to the daily time frame, last week closed with a spinning top candle. That could mean we head to the downside early this week. On the four hour time frame is where I am lining up my opportunities. We have broken to the upside and are clearly in a bullish trend. If we stay above the H4 support level, 200 day moving average, I will look for buys. If we start to break below, then I will look for sell. So pretty much I was looking to see if we found support here, USD gained strength, then we would, we would take longs, go to the upside. If not, broke back into this lower channel below the 200 day, then I would start to short. As we can see here, price range. So we found support here, could have had a nice buy opportunity in this area, about 70 pips, came back down again, 
could have had a nice buy area in this level again about 80 pips and then look at these lower highs so there was there was buy and short opportunities all week i believe we got into a short opportunity actually up in this area so guys don't marry one side of the market you can take trades on both sides there's plenty of opportunities eu i was looking to short this one going into the week so on the weekly time frame we can see that last week ended with quite a bit of seller's exhaustion could we be heading for a retracement into 122 500 so that is all the way up into this level up here you know could we be retracing up to that level but um looking at the daily it seems as though we are ready to move lower last two candles this past week were very weak and appear to be triggering a lower move h4 time frame as well i'll be watching this pair we're still within our four hour fib uh, to the downside and our trending starting to trend on lower time frames we're either going to move higher and double top at 121 400 or we'll move lower from current price so i was either looking to get in on a short at this level or short it right away as you can see here price just moved lower right away never came back the entire week so th this thing moved about 150 pips to the downside um, now we're starting to get a retracement so this week we'll look for more short opportunities when they present themselves Let's go over last but not least to NZD USD. One second here. So last but not least, we're going to look at NZD USD um, was lining this one up for short opportunity on the weekly. Our buy starting to shift last week closed with a doji candle indicating to us that we should be heading lower down to the daily. There is a massive bearish engulfing followed by a few candles. A few weak candles. There's also a bearish confirmation for myself. The H4 time frame is where I'll be looking for confirmation to head to the downside. We're coming back into resistance right now, and I will look to short from this level or if we come all the way back up to resistance. Uh, so I'm either looking to short right from this level or back up into that level. As we can see, price came up, retested these highs, pushed down, had this evening star and a bearish engulfing. Could have been a wicked short entry right there. Tons of confirmation. Um, and we're just ranging again so this week you know if we come back into the resistance we're going to look to short again so this was all of the analysis again guys this is posted in discord and in telegram right here completely for free this week we will drop all of our analysis the same way at the bottom be sure to check during the week as well we post analysis every single day for the new york and the asian session our watch list um so you know stay stay up to date on that as well there are plenty of opportunities and this is all for free so we will get all of the analysis for this week out to you guys the sunday market blitz will be tonight um, at 8 p.m eastern time during the, the super bowl it will be during the super bowl we will not be going out we'll be getting ready for this week you know getting ready um to slay the markets this week so as always guys thank you so much for all the support and if you have any questions Feel free to leave a comment below, um, you know, or just shoot us a message.